All right, so in the Kabam live stream today, there was a lot of stuff announced, and one of the biggest things was this new loyalty and incursions crystals. These are seven star crystals, and these contain six exclusive seven star champions. And here are the pulls. The pulls look pretty interesting. Of course, there are some complaints that I have, but we'll get to that when we get to that, right? So first up, the incursions pool. And we have Mojo, Ronin, Namor, Hulkbuster, Angela, and Captain America Infinity War. Now, these characters are all good. They're all pretty good champions, right? But some of them do want Max Sig, but we'll, we'll just dissect this one by one. So first up is Mojo. Now, Mojo is a defensive powerhouse still. He is still a solid defender, and as a 7-star, with this health pool, it's going to be a pain and a half man like a rank 2 mojo that's going to be the worst thing ever right so defense wise this is a massive win attack wise not so much because he does want mag sig or at least to be awakened for attack so you have to get him twice in this one crystal pretty much and i don't know that just doesn't really feel too awesome right but even if you pull him he's still a great pull because he is a very solid defender and next up is Ronin, and I have to be careful here because Ronin has a very, very, very passionate fan base, so I need to watch my words very carefully. But Ronin is pretty cool. I think he's a pretty solid champion. His damage output is pretty crazy at times, and his utility is a bit underrated too. He's just a pretty good all-around champion. Jack of all traits, master of none type of champion for sure, but he still does offer a lot overall. And he's still just super fun to play as well. And the best part is, he does not need to dupe in the slightest. So once you pull him, he is just ready to go, which is perfect. So Ronin, I feel like, is a big win here. Good attacker, no dupe needed, just overall pretty dang solid. And next up, oh man, this is my second favorite champion in the entire game. And when I saw that he was going to be a 7 star, I kind of lost my mind because he is, like I said, my second favorite champion. But then the reality hit me that Namor is a great character. I feel like he is a timeless champion for sure. But I feel like his best thing is the Awakened ability at SIG 200. So when you don't have that, you just have a pretty standard DPS, which he is a great DPS, don't get me wrong. But the utility is just all in that signature ability. So that is a bit unfortunate, but he will still be good as a damage dealer. But I have a rank 5 C200 Namor, so I will not be using the 7 star at all, pretty much. But um, still cool, I guess. I feel like if you pull him, I'll understand if you're upset about it, because he does want that max sig. That's what gives him that timeless champion status. So overall, a weird inclusion for sure, but... I mean, Namor, he's still, he's still Namor, man. I still love him so much, so I cannot be too mad about it, but I understand if y'all are mad about it. Now, next up is one of my other Ring 5 champions, Hulkbuster, and this dude is by far the best champion in this crystal. Does not need the dupe, is a monster attacker, is a good defender too. He is just an all-around top-tier character, and if you don't believe me, I'll have a video out soon about it, but yeah, this dude is just insane. When I saw that he was announced as a 7 star, I was like, are you sure, Kabam? Are you sure you want to do this? Because he is a powerhouse as a 6 star. So as a 7 star, he will just be insane. And I will be hunting this crystal for the 7 star Hulkbuster because I love Hulkbuster. I think he is still a top tier tech character. And I want to show you that he is truly top tier. So... Hopefully I get Hulkbuster here. I really, really want him from this crystal. And next up, we have Angela. And Angela is a great champion, but here is a bit of a drawback to this. She does want to be awakened for all of her utility. Like, she gets the damage over time debuff reduction. She gets the auto block reduction. She gets the nullify reduction. She gets three of her biggest utility pieces in her awakened ability. So... It is a drawback for sure, and I wish that they wouldn't include so many signature line characters, but I mean, Angela's still a great damage dealer as a 7 star, I would assume. Uh, still has some nice things, for example, her armor ups, her fury buffs, just a ton of buffs overall, her armor break, 
but it's pretty standard and for that complex utility she does want to be awakened so this pick was also pretty interesting to say the least but i want to see how it pans out for sure and last but not least captain america infinity war now just like namor he wants sig 200 which is a bit annoying for sure but by himself like unawakened he still is a pretty good damage dealer and he does have that good unstoppable removal but besides those two things he is kind of just lacking for sure so this pick was also pretty interesting but i hope he does well unawakened um the possibilities of that look pretty decent because his damage output is pretty good and he does have that one nice utility piece but besides those two things i just don't really see all too much to be excited about for him right so this one is just okay and this is the incursions seven star crystal that comes out this month in september so pretty hyped right and now let's talk about the loyalty crystal which has a very interesting pool of Howard the Duck, Storm, Void, Mordo, Vision Arcus, and Black Cat. Now this pool of characters is honestly pretty dang solid and let's start talking about some of these champions. So first up is Storm Original. This is a massive win. She is just a crazy damage dealer that needs no dupe whatsoever and she just is solid man. She's just really good. In this current Battlegrounds meta, she is by far one of the best attackers out there, and as time progresses, she'll just get better and better with Battlegrounds, right? So, this character has a ton of value as just an attacking champion, and she is good. She is just really good. I feel like she is better on attack than Storm Pyramid X. Might be a bit of a hot take, but that's just my thoughts. But yeah, just a very solid champion overall, and she is a massive win to the mutant class for the seven star pool now next up is mordo and defenders you know mystic defenders they just keep on getting added um the more that i see these new mystic additions the more i feel like maul wasn't a good pick for the seven star selector because yeah mordo is just like a more annoying defender in my opinion because his evade is horrible um you can't stun him he has that power gain he has that defensive ai which is just the worst thing ever this dude is truly super annoying and and here's the best part he is just great for pretty much every cosmic champion in the game he is good for hulkling for icarus for super scroll just any annoying cosmic defender he is just fantastic for adam warlock who is very new as well this man is a very solid champion and a great attacker but his defense is still super valuable. So Mordo, I feel like might be the best pull in this crystal, to be honest, from just a pure dual threat perspective. Now, next up is Black Cat. And Black Cat is a pretty strong champion. She has one of the best damage outputs in the game whenever she can fail abilities. And besides that, is still a pretty strong bleed character, has some great defensive ability accuracy reduction, and just an overall very solid kit. Um, a bit of a skill cap to her for sure, but once you learn her, she is just an absolute powerhouse. So Black Cat, I think, is a great pick here. Um, no dupe needed at all, just a fantastic character out of the box. And same case for Storm and Mordo, by the way. So just massive wins on all three of these champions. But yeah, Black Cat is just a very solid skill attacker, so I cannot wait to see how she does as a 7-star. Now next up is one of the most underrated champions in the game, vision arcus and this man is gonna be a powerhouse seven star a good dual threat with his very annoying cold snap also has a great evade counter because of the cold snap he has consistent armor breaks he has some pretty nice damage output and it's just overall a pretty solid pool i cannot wait to see how he does as a seven star champion like a seven starring two arcus sounds a bit insane i want to see how that performs for sure but yeah vision arcus Great defender, kind of. Great attacker, kind of. <laughs> Should be a pretty interesting pick for sure for this 7-star pool. And next up is Void. Now, Void is a pretty weird character in this regard because he does want to be awakened for sure, but even unawakened, he is a great defender. Like, he can be a great trap for Rico Master users. He just has a ton of value and aligns for defense too. He is just overall a pretty strong defender. 
and attacking wise like i said does want to be awakened though so this pick honestly could be better for sure but we have a new defender with void and a non-mystic defender is always pretty cool to see so i'll take it and last but not least we have howard the duck and this man is just a very strong attacker he is great for any mutant character he is just a great all-around quester too has some pretty good battlegrounds use right now has some pretty good battlegrounds use pretty much all the time he is just an overall good champion and howard the duck um has his fans for sure and for good reason he is just a pretty strong all-arounder has very good armor break, has some pretty good fury buffs, has some pretty strong heal block as well. And he also has a ton of armor breaks too, so pretty good counter to Killmonger and whoever else needs to be armor broken. So this champion is very cool for sure. I cannot wait to see how he does as a 7 star because it sounds pretty promising. And yeah, this is the 7 star pool for the new loyalty crystal. And this is the end of the video. So here's how you get these crystals next month or september which is this month actually there will be these new crystals added and the incursions one is for artifacts i think it is 400,000 artifacts and the loyalty one we don't have too much information yet on the price but we know that it does come out late september so when it does come out go to the loyalty store and you'll see it there and you can just buy it and with caps and lisbon event coming out in september too you have some pretty good loyalty stacked up there as well as some incursion artifacts too so should be a pretty fun time and uh, yeah let me your thoughts on these crystal pools i feel like overall they are pretty solid given the amount of good balance between defenders and attackers and yeah that's about it for me